Welcome to my 15th tutorial on Erlang. Today we're going to be talking about distributed programming. A distributed programs are programs designed to run on a network computer. In Erlang, uh, in Erlang a distributed system contains number of nodes. A node is an executing runtime system which has been given a name using the command line flag which I'll show later on. I will be working with Ubuntu and Windows so we can communicate between our Ubuntu node and our Windows node. So let's get started. First thing we do is we install Erlang on Ubuntu and the command for that is simply sudo apt.get install Erlang Erlang DOC documents. I already have this installed so I don't have to do this again. The first thing first is we create the node. To create the node we simply type ERL name dash name um, we're gonna be using a long name a node with long node name cannot communicate with a node with a short node name and a short node name starts with S name but we won't worry about that for the moment so we're gonna use a long name which is dash name and the next step is we give the node a name for this example we're going to use foo at the IP address which is 192.168.1.19 because I'm on a local area network and for security reasons we want to give it we want to set cookie in Erlang cookie is a form of security manager and a node with the same cookie can communicate with another node with the same cookie but a node with a different cookie cannot communicate basically both nodes or all nodes have to have the same cookie or else they cannot communicate together uh, we're gonna I'm gonna show examples of cookie setting later as well so we're going to set the cookie to UX learner that's it and perfect so we have our node running here and the first thing first is we want to ping another node so we call Erlang Building function net ADM and ping the next the the second node which we're going to call bar at the second IP is 192.168.1.10 oh and this is a this is an atom don't forget the quotes pang pang simply means the communication was a failure we couldn't communicate with the second node so we're gonna go into the Windows system because I'm using virtual machine first thing first is um, I want to create a bat file and I'm going to explain the reason for that we're just going to call it run ERL dot BAT rename yes 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 now edit um, the thing is we have to um, change directory to the location of the Erlang file so just copy and paste this uh, to the Erlang folder, the bin, the bin folder, and we want to call WERL. We can also call ERL, but WERL is going to open the Erlang shell, which is the white-looking thing instead of using the command line for that. Uh, so we use WERL and we want to give this a long name as well 
and the long, long name will be bar at 192.168.1.10 I will want to set the cookie for the first thing um, for this we're gonna set the wrong cookie just as an example but we're gonna change it later set cookie to Erlang or something Erlang and save control s now we run the BAT file and this loads up with command prompt so just ignore this so we ping the full node on Ubuntu so we call net dash ADM ping and we call full at 192.168.1.19 and we get a pang. The reason we get a pang is because we have different cookies. So to change the cookie in this current node, we call the Erlang Butin function set cookie. First of all, let's get the cookie just to make sure. So get dash cookie. I like the word cookie. And the cookie is Erlang. Now let's change it. We simply change that to set cookie. Oh yeah, I'm getting carried away here. Set cookie to um, what we're we going to use UX learner. What is this? Yes, 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 yes. <coughs> we're going to set the cookie first of all we're going to change the cookie of this current node so we need to get the node and the name of the cookie perfect comes in as true no more mistakes so now that we've set the cookie now let's try pinging our Ubuntu node and we get a pong now let's go back to Ubuntu and we ping now now we're back in Ubuntu and this the error report was the failed connection so in Ubuntu we try ping our bar on Windows and we get a pong the other cute thing is we can check a list of nodes we're currently connected to by simply calling nodes and it shows we're connected to bar so um, our final example is to call our RPC a remote procedure call from the Ubuntu node to the Windows node basically we're going to send our RPC and we're going to do the work on the Windows node and the result would be sent to the Ubuntu node. So let's do this. We're going to call the Butin function RPC and we're going to call we're going to call the bar node on Windows, which is bar at 192.168.1.10. And we're going to um, we're going to send a message to a module, a module called Erlang. We're going to use an, an Erlang built-in function called date and the function is the date function. So we want to get the date, the current date, but this will be computed on the wi Windows node and the result will be sent to our Ubuntu node. So all the work is on, all the work is done on a different machine and the argument is empty list. So so we got the current date 2013 April 20th and the work was simply done on the Windows node so you can see the advantage of distributed programming already so 
you can get programs to run parallel on a different machine which means we can build a fault tolerant system so if we have different nodes on separate machine if one machine goes down we can still have the program running on a separate machine if you've enjoyed my tutorial today in the next tutorial we're going to build upon this but i think it's necessary to know to know how to create a node before we proceed to the next tutorial thank you